like to say is it's tennis, but both people are on the same side of the net. So then you uh, have a big bouncy ball that you hit into the wall, against a wall instead of over the net. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, the serve, you bounce the ball in the service box. It's got to hit the front wall first uh, and bounce uh, in an area between the back wall and the short line. After that, it can hit any wall as long as it hits the front wall before the floor. So it's pretty exciting. You can hit, see players hit off the back wall, the ceiling, two side walls before the front wall. It's very unique in that aspect from other racket sports. I think I was initially drawn to it because it was an individual sport and I was a girl playing a lot of boys sports, playing with the boys, so it was a sport that gave me the opportunity to play on my own terms and take every shot, not worry about the different aspects of being on a team. Uh, now I like the, ex I call it the extreme racket sport, it's really quick, uh, it's diving, hit the ball really hard, so I find it super fun. It's definitely a life sport, so you uh, players of all ages and skills can play. It's really great because um, the ball stays in the room with you, you don't have to, have to chase it around, and the bounciness of it really helps people uh, be able to run and hit it with the racket. I see a lot of kids my age and even younger playing in senior nationals and senior provincials. It's totally normal. That's what I like about racquetball. It's, there's no big difference in age, and it doesn't really matter even because the old, older players are wiser and they're more experienced and younger players are faster and they're stronger. So it kind of evens out. What I really like the sport about the sport is the rush it brings me. And it's not like any other sport. Like You don't need to be part of a team. You don't need to communicate with other people half the time. And I like it because it's so, it's so you-based. It's so individual that you get to decide where you want to go. You get to decide what game you want to play, what shot you're going to make and where you're going to run and how you're going to beat the opponent. And that's what I really like about the game. I started as an adult, started at our local Y, just took a couple of classes and got into their program, joined a league, which is great because as the person develops, you get to move up and play against new players. And, and then my children started to play. So we were able to travel and experience juniors in many different cities. We traveled from Charlottetown to Montreal, Vancouver. And then once they stopped playing, um, I decided to start picking it up at, at a more serious level and I've been traveling across Canada and met some wonderful people. Well, the biggest thing when you first come out, there's usually a lot of little junior programs across Canada. Uh, every, every club that is, is out there um, usually has some kind of a junior program that you can get involved in, with. And they'll teach you the beginning, you know, uh, as a beginner, the rules of racquetball and how to play. And they might start you with double bounce, and then move into single bounce. And so you can you can progress with with the rest of them. And uh, it's it's just a lot of fun. It doesn't matter whether you are really really young or really really old. There's a place for you here. And again, you uh, you get to be 60 years old you've got a category. You get to be 70 year olds, you, you got a category, but again, it's that camaraderie. You've watched the people, you've seen the people, you've been involved with these people. It's like a family. It's great. I love the sport. Uh, I wish it was a little bit bigger, but it's given me so many opportunities to travel the world. I've been everywhere in North and South America and met a lot of people I'd never meet if it wasn't for the sport. And Racquetball Canada has given me the opportunity by funding us to do these things. You see these people almost at every tournament, so you become close with all of them and they become your best friends, almost like family, because you do everything with them. When you're not at the court having a good time with them, you're out somewhere else having a good time with them. We just had uh, in Burlington, Ontario this summer, this past summer, we had a world championship that hasn't been in Canada since 1992 and uh, this one that was run in Burlington by Racquetball Canada was considered to be the best world event that the International Racquetball Federation has, has held. Uh, so as far as the Olympics, uh, we are edging closer to the Olympics. I would say by, by 2020 you will find that uh, racquetball and squash, I'll, I'll mention both racquetball and squash, are being considered for the Olympics. And to be considered is a step in the right direction. So once, once that happens, you're going to see a major growth in, in both sports and particularly in racquetball.